Have you ever found yourself tangled in a complex coding problem, feeling like you're chasing your own tail? If that's you, then you're in the right place. Today, we're diving into a tricky Java 8 issue involving streams and multisets. I totally get it. Working with streams can be confusing, especially when you're dealing with nested streams. You're not alone in this struggle. Many developers face similar challenges. Here's the specific situation we're tackling today. One user asked how to extract a map from a stream of streams in Java 8. They provided an example with multiple documents, each containing words, and they want to count the occurrences of each word across these documents. Sound familiar? Let's break it down together. So what's the challenge here? The user has a stream of streams, and they want to create a map where each word is a key and the value is a multiset representing the count of that word in each document. This can be tricky, especially since they want to exclude zeros. And stick around. At the end of this video, I'll share a pro tip that will make working with streams in Java a breeze. To begin solving this problem, the user should first flatten the stream of streams into a single stream of words. This can be achieved using the flat map method. Next, the user needs to create a map that counts the occurrences of each word in each document. This can be done by grouping the words and counting their occurrences. Now the user should implement the count in documents method. This method will count how many times a specific word appears in each document. Finally, the user can convert the list of counts into a multi-set structure. This will allow for easy representation of the counts for each word across the documents. Fun fact, did you know that the term multiset is often used in computer science to describe a collection that allows multiple occurrences of the same element? It's a handy concept. Now let's look at the answers provided by other users. An alternative approach provided by a user involves using the map function to collect each inner stream into a multiset they then flatten the entries and group them by the word, creating a map of words to their counts. This results in a structure that captures the frequency of each word across the documents. The user also notes that while a multiset is useful for counting, it may not be necessary for storing counts. They suggest using a list instead or leveraging Guava's list multimap for a more efficient structure. Let's take a look at an answer from another user. An alternative approach involves using Guava's utilities to handle streams effectively. The user suggests utilizing the map with index method to assign an index to each inner stream, transforming each word into a pair of the word and its document index. Next, they recommend flat mapping these pairs into a single stream and collecting them into a Guava table. This table structure allows you to track the word counts per document index. Finally, if you need a map structure, you can transform the table into a map of multisets using Guava's transform values method. That's it for that answer. Let's take a look at another one. An alternative solution provided by a user suggests using the Abacus Util library. They recommend flattening the stream of streams and converting each document to a multiset. This approach collects the results into a map where the keys are words and the values are lists of their counts in each document. Here's the pro tip I promised. Always remember to check the documentation for libraries like Google Guava. They have fantastic resources that can save you time and headaches. And there you have it. You now know how to extract a map from a stream of streams in Java 8. Remember, practice makes perfect. If you found this video helpful, hit that subscribe button for more coding tips and don't miss our next video where we tackle another common coding challenge.